captains and supporters or whatever they call themselves are still looking for the little champion as he ducks between the ropes there somewhere so far we've lost the champion i hope he hasn't been kidnapped or changed his mind there he is there he is he didn't even bother to come in there A lot of the crowd think that the fellow with the belt is the champion, but in fact, he's lost in the aisles somewhere. I hope he hasn't changed his mind yet. Surely not, no, no, unless they've actually paid him in advance. I don't think he'll change his mind. Here he comes now. Yes, he asked for the money up front, and he's getting about £100,000 for this fight, which is why he's made that long trip from Thailand to take his chance. There he is. He's a devout Muslim and says a prayer in the same way that Muhammad Ali did before his fights. And he really does look he's going to jump the top rope that's a bit unusual whoops i wonder if he's insured to do that well we've got a show to go with it good looking little lad is he isn't he is uh, a thai boxer kickboxer got the hardest elbows and feet you'll ever know but he can't use those hopefully in the fight i never did like kickboxing frankly never really got a kick out of it so there's a ceremonial swords end and it's a very colorful setting and when we've had a Thailander here before, Jim, you'll remember this, Cha Choi Chinoy defeated Walter McGowan from Scotland here and uh, uh, in gentlemen, Bangkok. Gentlemen, please. Yeah, he did that with a, a cut over Walter's nose and then one over Ladies his eye, but uh, hopefully that, that wouldn't happen to Charlie. Charlie's not a cutter or a bleeder. Thank you. So the Alexander Palace crowd then just now standing for the national anthems. And there's the time. Tinsel and preliminaries over then, and I think the American official, yes, he's showing out to Chitalaba's corner, but there can only be three seconds working there, and there's too many there at the moment. But uh, one includes the Our flag carrier, Charlie Atkinson from Liverpool, who works with this champion. Ladies and gentlemen, so this over now to Mike Shinfield for the introduction. Sponsored by Tuborg, Frank Warren presents a flyweight contest of 12 three minute rounds for the flyweight championship of the world between presenting and introducing in this corner ladies and gentlemen from thailand the champion sot chitalada and from london ladies and gentlemen the challenger charlie migri At the weigh-in today, ladies and gentlemen, both boxers scaled seven stones, 13 and three-quarter pounds. And the officials for this contest, ladies and gentlemen, the referee from the USA is Mr. Martin Denkin. Judges from Mexico, Jose Guerra. From Belgium, Jean de Vert. And from the USA, Mr. Dick Cole. So, in fact, the referee does not score if it goes the full 12 round. The three judges decide the decision. He merely controls the contest, and he wants all the seconds. There's one man in there with both boxers. Chitalada doesn't speak any English, so it's got to be sign language. 
and he really is a mystery in many ways we're not sure whether he's had eight official contest or 21 he claims he's had 21 but the record keepers say that some of those were the kickboxing and do not count well whatever it is he's had one loss actually Chitalada, and that was for the light flyweight championship of the world when he fought in korea and that apparently was a close fight so now let's see how little charlie magri whether he's worked himself up it's all about temperament now with magri i'm sure for this one and there we go He is a very tall flyweight for Thailander. Said to be a good boxer, not the hardest of punches, but throws them frequently. In fact, Magri at his best can match any flyweight in the world for power. title against a very tough Mexican Gabriel Bernal but Magri getting off quickly now that was the plan he said he was going to do try and get in take the play away from Chilada a bit he's set to have a strong jaw but we'll find out don't hold on there the American says to the champion don't pull the head on so a lively enough start on the first minute scheduled for 12 rounds and at the eight stone limit. Did he have trouble getting his gum shield in there to the champion gym at the start or something? It looked to me as though he wasn't winning a gum shield or some expecting water out of the bell rang but it looks as though maybe he was holding it you know down low in his mouth. It seems as though he having a shield then. I thought he was boxing without a shield. Good left hook there from Magri. Got him off balance. The crowd know it, and Chipolada knows it. Oh, he can't miss this fellow. He's holding his head up high, and Magri's taking full advantage of this. That's the way to get off, Charlie. Oh, but he, took, he stood square and took the right hand counter punched him. Well, I like Charlie's attitude anyway. He's going forward, and that's what Charlie's going to do. He's landed good punches already. Just have to be a little bit more careful, maybe to go in the opening round. Well, they said he's a good mover over Thailand. He'll have to be. Doing too much about defense, these punches are so tense. These guys are just unloading all that tension now, the unwinding, but they're letting it all go all out of the system in the opening round. He's really favoring the left hook, Charlie Magri. Trying to give it the relax a bit there, Jim. I think it might be conning a bit there, the Thailander. 